the conversation um, about the show at power plant had been going on for almost a year the project is divided into four chapters and it's spread over six months each chapter has one film as its center point and when the film changes the outside room also changes and i call the outside room the footnotes to the film the footnote that's there now it's called what we found after you left and it's basically an exhibition or a project of 23 greek artists who went to the airport that was the subject of my film and did projects there after seeing my film the airport is elinikon airport in athens it used to be a major hub in the 70s and 80s it's where a lot of flights passed through in the middle east so the airport was closed down in 2001 very suddenly actually because they opened a new airport in another part of town for the 2004 olympic games so we did these workshops photography workshops and then 23 artists went to the airport and they came back with very different photographs none of them had any bearing to my film at all they found areas rooms objects posters a disco ball not sure why that was there strange artifacts in parts of the airport that i have somehow never managed to find so then we did a exhibition in greece and we called it what we found after you left which is also why we called the overall exhibition what we found after you left so the first film is from 2017 tripoli cancelled about a man who lives in an airport for at least 10 years when we meet him this was my first complete fiction film but it was inspired by a real event which is that my father was stuck in this airport for 9 days in 77 first i started writing dialogue as letters to his wife then we started doing imaginary where he's talking to imaginary people so we just started experimenting we started finding new locations we found a control tower we went up the control tower and i said well what if you were refusing a plane permission to land we started just playing so there are all these little accidental things that came up and it's like a nice mixture of i think a uh, greek melodrama and then my sort of ideas of telling story while holding a lot of things back and we come in the middle the second film united red army is actually about a hijacking in an airport so just to give the background in 1977 a japan airlines flight is hijacked in india and flown to bangladesh the hijackers are doing it on behalf of the palestinian movement japanese red army and at the center of it is the negotiator from the bangladesh side who's the chief of the air force so this person is known to my family my father knew him really well so i track him down i interview him for many days and on the last day he says listen there are some tapes of the negotiation do you want to listen to them and then you find other things that were accidentally recorded and then i came up with the idea which was that i would just use the audio and not have any pictures on top and all you see is text on screen it's a film that started a cycle of films i made which were all about the revolutionary left and kind of looked at this idea of misrecognition to stay with misrecognition and failure linger with it and then come to something else afterwards